it, it's obviously a moment that'd be a lot better if the weight went my way. Um, but uh, to to fight in front of my hometown, you know, a lot of people in this game they say it's a dream to do this, it's a dream to that. In high school, when I was preparing for you know for MMA. I always told myself, no matter what stage it was on, it would always be the coolest thing in the world to fight on a big stage in front of my hometown. So there's no explaining how, how this moment feels. How'd you regroup after yesterday to perform tonight? Uh, him. You know, it, it's hard. You know, it's kind of like hard because you know I've obviously had you know weight issues in the past, and uh, it's something that's always plagued me and followed me around. But I knew that I had this little boy depending on me. To win this fight, no matter what happens tomorrow, the most important thing was winning this fight tonight. So, honestly, it, it, it was him and my family and my wife that pretty much made me regroup. You still think 125 is where you need to be, or do you need to go up? I need to. I I I, I need to talk it over with my manager and with uh, the UFC. But me personally, I feel like 25 is good for me. I don't feel like it had anything to do with discipline. You know, I've I've, I've learned to man up to my mistakes, and I've learned to you know ex accept accountability and if there's one thing I could say is that it wasn't discipline, it wasn't not being in the right way, it was just the system not working for me. You know, I everything was going perfect all week when I spoke to you guys at the media scrum before. It felt great, you know, weight wasn't even high. And then as soon as we started the cut, we you know, as you guys saw, we took the extra hour, we even asked for more time and the the weight just wasn't cooperating and I, I truly feel like it's just finding the right system. I've worked with so many, you know, weight cut gurus, weight cut dietitians and I've tried to always just kind of pick things that I've liked from each of them and try to squeeze it all in one one weight cut and you know it just unfortunately doesn't work that way and I just think uh, finding the weight, right weight cutting system would uh, be the best for my career but that's something for another day you know I'm just uh, happy to get this win. Ray, what, what do you what do you say to those guys like what do you say to Dana or the matchmakers in trying to convince them to let you stay down at 25 because I mean not to be critical but this has happened enough times that do you fear that they're going to say, dude, we're sorry, you got to move up? You know, it's it's more than that. You know, this is a situation that I fear they're going to say, hey, sorry, find another organization, you know. Um, it took a lot of convincing to let them get me down here in the first place. And like I said, it sucks because, man, as you guys seen by the pace that I pushed out there in elevation, I was in fantastic shape. Everything went fantastic this camp. And, you know, it's just very unfortunate that the cut didn't go my way. So honestly, I don't know what to say to them. You know, I can't. I can only say sorry so many times, and uh, it can only happen so many times before they're kind of like, you know what, we're done letting you try. So it's it's not up to me anymore. I just uh, I'm just happy to to be here and to get this win, and uh, you know that's ultimately something for them to decide. If they gave you an ultimatum and said you, you, you're staying because we like you, we like how you fight, but you're doing it at 135, and we'll never let you go back down to 25. Then that's, then that's is that what you'll do? That's the course that I'll have to take. You know, I I don't I don't have a problem fighting with 30 at 35. You know, I can compete with dudes that size. You know, it's something that's not you know something that's not been done before. Henry Cejudo's doing it. It's it's not something that's out of the picture. It's just you know I feel comfortable at 25, and if I have to move up to 35, I'm just gonna have to find a way for my body to be comfortable at 35 and not just 25. You're a, you're a strong guy, but Baltarine's a strong guy as well. Is it is just leverage? Is is that uh, kind of the key to, to the takedown? Yeah, you know what, man? That's what's funny is uh, a lot of people thought that I did this to have some sort of weight advantage or to uh, you know to be the bigger guy in there. But ultimately, he was bigger than me tonight. You know, he's kind of a he's kind of a big flyweight. So you know, as strong as he was strong as hell, but ultimately it was kind of just uh, you know the right technique and. You know, doing this for a long time. I saw you do that to Kenny at 35, although you didn't win the fight. So. Yeah, you know, uh, that's a decision that didn't go quite my way, even though we felt it did. But you know, I I have all the confidence in the world that I could take anybody down, no matter what weight. You know, people in my gym see me do it to 55ers, 75ers. You know, it's just uh, putting your body in the right space, spot at the right time. It was a highly competitive first round. You separated yourself after that. What made the difference going into those last two? I felt him just start to crumble. You know, I we knew this elevation was going to get the better of a lot of guys out here. You know, not a lot of guys were smart to come out early. You know, which, you know, when you're up here at you know almost 6,000 feet elevation, you got to take that seriously. So, you know, we we knew the pressure putting the pressure on him in general would you know start to play in our factor. You know, and then even then doing it at elevation. So. Uh, you know, that was kind of the thing is to put the pressure on him, put the pressure on him, and then, you know, start to break him.
Do you feel like you know what to do about the weight stuff going forward? Do you feel like you have a clear solution in mind? I do. I do, you know, and uh, I've spoken before saying that I need to get my outside dieting under control. That's under control. I don't go out to eat all the time. But I think the problem is, is I came in heavier than the system that I use. The guys at the PI, at the Performance Institute, they're, they're amazing. They're geniuses. But in order for their protocol to work, you have to come in at a certain weight. And uh, I truly felt like I came in a little bit too heavy because even though I've done it, for the weight that I came in in that five weeks, I've done it from that weight before. But in order for that protocol to work, I needed to come in a little bit lighter. So I think that's the key if I'm continued, if I'm allowed to continue fighting at this weight is just coming in a couple pounds lighter, which isn't something that's impossible at all. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Come on, buddy, let's go find mom.